بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی آر اسٹارٹنگ چیپٹر نمبر ٹو آف میتھس آف کلاس نائن دا نیم آف دا چیپٹر از ریئل نمبرس اینڈ کوآڈینیٹ سسٹم اینڈ دا فرسٹ ٹاپک آف دس چیپٹر از پراپرٹیز آف ریئل نمبر فرسٹ یو ہیو ٹو نو دیٹ what is real numbers real numbers are combination of rational or and irrational numbers these two numbers combined to make a real number so we can say that real numbers or combination of the or the union of rational or irrational numbers now the now we discuss the properties of real numbers the first property of real number is closure property with respect to addition the sum of any two real numbers is a real number Real property says that the sum of any two real numbers is a real numbers. Symbolically, we express this property as for all A and B belongs to R and A plus B belongs to R. It means that A and B are any two real numbers. If we combine these two real numbers, the answer is the answer is also in a, is a real number. So we can say that two plus three is equal to five. That is also a real number. Now the second property is commutative property with respect to addition. If A and B are any two real numbers, then this property says that A plus B is equal to B plus A. In other words, the sum of any two real numbers A and B added in any order in the, is the same. So we can say that for all A and B belongs to R. A plus B is equal to B plus A. This property is called commutative property with respect to addition. With respect to addition means we are using the symbol plus, adding symbol. So this property is called commutative property with respect to addition. For example, 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 2. The answer will be same. So this is the property, this property is called commutative property with respect to addition. Next property is associative property with respect to addition. If A, B and C are any real numbers, then we symbolically we can write for all A, B and C, for any A, B and C belongs to R, this property says that A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. Associative property with respect to addition, the bracket is switched over on the right hand side, A plus B are in bracket. On the right hand side, B plus C is in the bracket. A, B and C belongs to R. The sign here is positive sign plus sign. So we can write this property as with respect to addition. Next property is existence of relative inverse. Relative inverse. As you know that zero is called Additive inverse. So 
symbolically there is a real number such that for any real number a a plus 0 is equal to 0 plus a is equal to a symbolically we can write that for all a belongs to r and 0 belongs to r for example 2 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus 2 is equal to 2 so exist there is for to write a number there exists an additive inverse in it 2 plus 0, 0 plus 2 is equal to 2. So the next property is existence of additive inverse. As you know that for every real number there exists a real number negative such that we can explain this property as a plus minus a is equal to minus a plus a is equal to zero. Existence existence of additive inverse. Additive inverse means other a negative number of a number a plus minus a that is equal to zero minus a plus a is equal to zero this property is called existence existence of added inverse if the result is zero then this property exists next property closure property with respect to multiplication multiplication of any two real numbers is a real number a and b belongs to r A multiplied by B belongs to R. If we multiply two numbers, then the result will be a real number. So this property is called closure property with respect to multiplication because the sign involving in it is a multiply sign. Next property is commutative property with respect to multiplication. A, B is equal to B. This is called commutative property with respect to multiplication. For example, 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3 multiplied by 2. Next property is associated with property with respect to multiplication. For any real numbers A, B and C, A, B multiplied by C is equal to a multiplied by BC. Associated property, the bracket is switch over, but the sign, multiplication sign is used here. For example, 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4. This property is called associated property with respect to multiplication. Existence of multiplicative identity. As you know that one is called multiplicative identity. There exists a real number one such that for any real number A. A multiplied by one is equal to one multiplied by A is equal to A. So this property is called existence of multiplicative identity. Existence of multiplicative inverse for any non zero number A, there exists a number one upon A. So we can write that A multiplied by one upon A is equal to one upon A multiplied by A is equal to one. Here A and one upon A are the inverse of each other. They are inverse of each other.
सो द नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन ओवर एडिशन इफ ए बी सी आर एनी रियल नंबर देन वी कैन राइट ए बी प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू ए बी प्लस ए सी एंड बी प्लस सी ए इज इक्वल टू बी ए प्लस सी ए दिस प्रॉपर्टी का डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू मल्टीप्लीकेशन बी मल्टीप्लाय then this bracket with out uh, the number which is outside the bracket ab ac is equal to ab plus ac trichotomy property for property for any real number any one of the following three relations will be true either a is greater than 0 or a is equal to 0 or a is less than 0 This property is called Trichotomy property for any real number a. Now we are solving a question and their parts. Few parts of question number one, exercise two point one. To understand the closure property. Question is: Are the following sets closed? Have closure property with regards to multiplication. The operation that we have to use is the multiplication. Now, first part of is the set of zero and one. We have to verify that this set is closed. is closed with respect to multiplication now there are two elements in the given set 0 and 1 first we multiply the 0 multiply by 0 is equal to 0 we are using multiplication sign because the property the sign which the question is saying about multiplication so we are using the sign of multiply 0 multiply by 0 is equal to 0 0 multiply by 1 is equal to 0 1 multiply by 0 is equal to 0 1 multiply by 1 is equal to 1 now after multiply these two elements the result of these four is closed with within or we can say that the numbers are in the given set 0 and 1 there is no number which is outside the set so we got the answer is yes have closure property no part 5 with the same method we can solve the questions of multiplier property question number part 5 is the elements in part 5 are 2 3 so we multiply 2 multiply by 2 is equal to 4 2 multiply by 3 is equal to 6 Three multiplied by two is equal to six. Three multiplied by three is equal to nine. As a result of these four parts, then the numbers are four, six, six, nine. Here, four, six, nine are not within the given set. Two, three. These are numbers are four, six, nine. Therefore, no. Closure property so these are the you can 
<clears throat> answer the question you can solve all the parts of this question now you can solve the remaining parts of this exercise you have to write in your notebook the question of exercise 2.1 you solve <clears throat> in your notebook question number 1 question number 5 and question number 6 you have to write in your notebook only these questions solve all the parts of these questions 1 5 and 6 question number 1 question number 5 and question number 6 Now we are solving fill in blanks before i start this topic you have to understand the order pair as in the question number 1 a and b is written as this is called ordered pair in this ordered pair a is called abscissa and b is called ordinate and this bracket is called whole bracket is called ordered pair before solving this questions you have to understand that if two order pair two order pair are equal for example this is equal to this then abscissa will be equal to abscissa of the other and ordinate equal to ordinate of the other in by using this method we solve this fill in blanks according to first part a b is equal to 2 3 this order pair is equal to this order pair the abscissa of this is equal to abscissa of this so a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3 this is the fill the blanks of first part in second part x will be equal to minus 1 2 and y is equal to 3 in third order pair as these two order pairs are equal so x plus 1 is equal to 5 this implies that x is equal to 5 minus 1 this implies that x is equal to 4 in ordinate y plus 2 is equal to 6 this implies that y is equal to 6 minus 2 this implies that y is equal to 4 so the result of third part x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 4 this is the fill in blanks of question number 1 now our next topic is cartesian part or cross part the symbol cross represent the cartesian product or cross part we take a question to understand this topic question is if find a cross b and b cross a when first part is a is equal to 1 2 and b is equal to 4 
eight. This is the question. Question number two. Part one. We have to find the cross part. Note that A cross B is read as A cross B, not A multiplied by B. So we are solving the question number one, part one. Here we have to find A cross B and B cross A. For in first part, we have to find A cross B. A cross B is equal to write the set A 1 2 cross the set B 4 6 8. Here we use the method or formula. The numbers of elements in set A. The number of elements in set A are 2. The number of elements in set B are 3. 2, 3 is a 6. We have to write 6 order pairs in A cross B. So we can write A cross B is equal to by in a set A 1 comma 2 comma 3 4 5 6 and close the set here we use the formula the number of elements in set A 2 the number of elements in set B 6 so we can make any structure of this part now the element of first set is one one we multiply one by four we order pair one by four one by six one with eight now next two with four two with six two with eight this is the answer of first part now second part b cross a we have to find the ordered pairs of b cross a now b cross a is equal to first we write the bracket or set b four six eight multiply set a one two now b cross a is equal to the elements in set B3, the elements of set A2, 3 to the 6, we have to write 6 order pairs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now the elements are 4 with 1. 4 with 2, 6 with 1, 8 with 2, 6 with 1, 6 with 2, 8 with 1, 8 with 2. This is the answer of part 1. Now you can solve all the parts of this question by this method. The well, next topic is about quadrants. We know that in Cartesian product, this is called x-axis, this is called y-axis, this is called negative x-axis and this is positive negative y-axis. And this point is called origin, origin means 0, 0. In this point, x, the value of x and y equal to 0. And you know that this is called order, order pair, abscissa and ordinate. Now, according to quadrant, there are total four quadrants. This is called first quadrant, 
this is called second quadrant this is called third quadrant and this is called fourth quadrant anti clockwise the quadrants move as a anti clockwise first second third fourth in first quadrant x and y both are positive in second quadrant as you know that this side x is negative so minus plus x will be negative and y positive in third quadrant both x and y will be negative opposite of first quadrant in fourth quadrant x will be positive and y will be negative your simple method opposite sides opposite quadrants will be in opposite signs as you know that first quadrant both are positive in the opposite side both are negative in this x is negative in this side x is positive so these are the four quadrant first second third and fourth first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant now the question is in which quadrant in which quadrants or in other way we can say that x is the following points lie this is a question and we have to assign the quadrants or axes for example the first part is uh, for one quadrant is 2 3 now we have to find in which quadrant this point lie first a simple method you have to write the signs of these two the sign of x is positive the sign of y is positive in which quadrant the both sign are positive first quadrant so the answer is first quadrant second part second example for example a number is minus 4 and minus 2 upon 5 we have to find the quadrant of this order of pair a point we have to assign the write the sign of these two numbers negative and negative so these this order pair lies in fourth quadrant third quadrant so the answer is third quadrant now third example if a number is given in this form now if there is a element zero involved in the uh, in a point then that point lie if there x or y equal to zero then this point not lie in the quadrants 1 2 3 4 the point lie on x or y axis if the value of y equal to 0 if the value of y equal to 0 then point lie on the opposite axis so the answer is x axis if y is equal to 
then the point lie on x axis for example the next part is 0 and 6 this point lie on y axis as the value of x is equal to 0 then the point lie on y axis in part 3 3 0 it mean the point lie on x axis 1 2 3 0 the point will be here on y axis 0 6 the point will be here on the line of axis if x and y the value of x and y equal to 0 then the point lie on the line of axis not in the quadrant so you have to remember these this word and this examples to understand the questions of this type now in the last now you have to write in your notebook or and solve these questions of chapter number two exercise 2.1 question number one question number five question number six exercise 2.2 question number one two three five six you have to solve these questions in your notebook and also solve the examples of this chapter in your rough copies and do practice of that questions not uh, in uh, not from the exercise and read the chapter for objectives note down the important topics uh, definitions in your book again solve these questions in your notebook